Hi, everybody. I just wanted to uh, welcome you to week three of our Paddle Monster newsletter. Hope you've enjoyed the first two issues. Um, this week, uh, I'd like to start off by congratulating Victoria Burgess on a great uh, Treasure Coast uh, Paddle Battle uh, event. Um, third year, I think, in a row that she's hosted this event. And uh, by all accounts, it was a big success, a highly competitive event. Lots of people showed up. Uh, big early season race. Um, preparing people for Carolina, which is coming up at the end of the month. Um, hopefully, I'll see everybody there. I'm actually going to be there uh, running a training camp with, with uh, Seychelles Webster and um, look forward to seeing everyone at the race um, if you're not doing the camp. Um, and uh, I myself will be racing. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do the graveyard or the 10K. I'm actually training to race a 10K race uh, in the distance race at the ICF Worlds in Sarasota in November. So I've got some things to consider, uh, you know, which with regards to which race I want to do. Um, if you're new to paddling um, or if you are an experienced paddler but haven't got on the water yet so far this year or if you just got on the water, we've got some stuff for you in this week's uh, newsletter. Uh, specifically, it's related to technique and the catch. So we talk a little bit about what the catch is and why it's important. And then we share um, a really effective land drill with you that uh, can help you um, better achieve, uh, achieve a good catch on the water um, by working on the positioning, uh, the body positioning and what it feels like um, in that position and what the paddle feels like when you're leaning on it at the catch. Um, you can achieve these things more easily on land than you can uh, on a moving board in a, in a dynamic environment like on the water. So it's a great way for people who haven't got on the water yet uh, or who are just learning about how to paddle properly with good technique or who are just um, have just gotten on the water to um, sort of double check to make sure that they're um, doing the catch right when they get on their board. And uh, if they do practice the land drill on an ongoing basis, it will, I think, help them learn to catch well more quickly. Um, for those of you that are training with us, um, you've got a recovery week, whether you're doing the spring base program or the spring competitive program. Um, it's a well-earned week in both cases for the spring base who've only been on the water for a couple of weeks. It's a well-needed recovery for uh, muscles, connective tissue, and the nervous system after um, you know two hard, high-load uh, first couple of weeks on the water. And of course, for the people doing the spring competitive program, you guys have intensified your, your work. Uh, you're starting to do some high-intensity um, really high quality workouts and those are taxing uh, on muscles, joints and in particular your nervous system. So you guys need a little bit of a rest too. Try to resist the urge to do more work even if you feel capable. Recovery is really important. It's like an investment in higher quality work in the next couple of weeks ahead. And uh, remember it's that higher quality work that creates the stimulus that really generates improvement. If you're doing work with a lower level of quality code because you're fatigued, you don't get quite the same stimulus that generates the same amount of improvement, right? So it's quality first uh, and, and, you know, attention to detail about your technique. That's what's most important. For those paddlers also, um, they should be using video to self-assess their technique. Um, and we've been providing you with some, um, some help on uh, some resources. Uh, on how to do that. So uh, this week uh, we're talking about the poll. So we've shared some reading for you to do, uh, some articles uh, that are on the website about uh, technique errors associated commonly with the poll and what their fixes are. So hopefully that helps you through the process of your uh, technique uh, self-analysis and it gives you an idea on where to start to improve your technique if you're spotting errors. Um, and uh, also this week, for people that are training with us, we're launching a, a new strength program, a new phase of strength training that lasts for the entire month of April. Uh, it's still maintenance strength, um, where we're maintaining the strength that we built throughout the off season when we weren't on the water or we weren't on the water as much. Uh, and I just want to reiterate that it's really important to continue to do your strength work when you get back in the water. I think a lot of people... Uh, feel like the water work's more important and if they're going to let something slip, they let the, their time in the gym slip. But if you do that starting now and you do it repeatedly through the entire summer, by the time you get to late season races like Chatterjack in October or if you're doing the ICF Worlds or something like that, 
in November, uh, you're going to have lost a lot of the strength that you built and worked hard to build over the winter. So uh, you'll want to uh, make sure that you check the strength program and continue to do that. And um, um, yeah, I mean, we're hoping that you're enjoying this new uh, communication format that we're using. Um, we're hoping that you're getting lots out of the newsletter. We're hoping that it's uh, finding your inbox, not your spam folder. Um, if you've got any feedback, uh, we always like to hear it. So please let us know. And uh, I wish you a great week on the water. All the best.